Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick video for everybody that runs the anniversary update of Windows 10. How do you know that? Well, simply go to the uh, Cortana, type Winver for Windows version. Uh, if you're running the anniversary update here, you should see in the version 1703, it should say build 14393.1613 right now. Now, the one I see here, 15063, this is for those that are in creator's update. Now, only anniversary update has a, a update. So if you're on 14393, you've got a update yesterday, cumulative update that appeared. It is mostly bug fixes. So um, if you're wondering what was that, uh, they have um, fixes that are uh, pack packages that contain uh, D3D compiler um, are for, for fixing different issues with that. They addressed the issue where a black screen appears when launching an application on Citrix uh, Xen app. They've also addressed an issue where user account control prompt sometimes appears hidden instead of, you know, at the forefront. Addressed issue and the event collector data that caused data corruption. Also addressed issue where PowerShell command uh, might find that there are some problems with the key certificate. Addressed issues in some cases where an encrypted hard drive device would not automatically unlock in system startup. They address an issue where the app locker rule wizard crashes. Uh, issue with third party directory structures cause disk cleanup to render a boot drive inaccessible. Issues with unsynchronized access uh, and system crash. Addressed issue with an extremely high number of uh, input output flushes uh, might lead to an error. They address reliability issues that occur um, with smart card pin prompt. Addressed issues increasing the time out of uh, Windows starting doc uh, Docker for Windows. Addressed an issue Azure multi-factor authentic authentication authentication is uh, not working well. Address an issue where a computer account loses its domain membership. Uh, issues where a planned restart of the primary server storage uh, application replication doesn't automatically resume. They addressed uh, issues with graphic cards, issues with some uh, NVIDIA and some uh, AMD cards. Addressed issues where remote desktop client cannot connect or disconnect, depending on what you're doing. And of course, uh, addressed issue presenting an expired or revoked certificate on the ADFS proxy server. So there's a lot of little things also uh, some of you have had that including um, uh, one of the questions that was asked update history does not list previously installed updates so that one is um, a fix here so uh, basically they've uh, investigating also the issue and we'll try to fix it because some of you will still have it um, for sure so uh, there are workarounds and things like that so I will, uh, of course, let everybody know at the next live show exactly what's happening. Uh, that, you know, there are some issues sometimes that happen with that and they are investigating. So, anniversary update users, you are on the PC build 14393.1613. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.